It is the 27th of April, 2021. I'm Scott Miller. This is Sheep Guarding Llama, and welcome to the show. I'm doing a part one. It is noon, and it's just been so busy since I made the video last night that I wanted to take time to catch up this morning um, because I have a moment. Mostly I got a chance to step away from my desk, which this morning I figured out the laptop desk, which has been in the living room that we've been using as a kitchen table for the last couple of years, um, has no purpose because there's no furniture, right? The room is empty. There's no ottoman, no couches. Um, so I moved it into my office and now I can finally sit at my laptop again. So for the first time in weeks, I don't have to stand every moment of the day that I'm working, which is feeling so good. My, my legs, my knees, my feet, they needed a break. It was rough. So did that this morning. That was a great move. Can't believe I didn't think of that earlier. Um, uh, so before I get to this morning, last night, so the couches, uh, Chris helped me carry out um, all the couches and uh, the dresser and get that outside, the big heavy stuff. So that's out. We've only got a couple small pieces of furniture left, like little chairs I'm sitting on now. These are folding chairs. Um, there's the side table. That's tiny. Dominican and I can get it easily on our, I mean, I can get it on my own, really. Um, and there's the girl's desk. Um, so those items uh, we need to carry out yet and give away um, on next door. If you're one of our next door neighbors, they'll be coming up sometime soon. Um, I did post the ones we had last night on next door. They're still out there. It's hard to imagine like the white couch. No one's going to want that. The black couch in theory, someone would want, but it's really big and heavy and hard to explain. And it's all taken apart. So someone who's going to come get it, has got to get a truck, come over here, decide it's, it's a long shot and it's been in the yard now overnight. So I don't know if someone's going to really want that or not. It's hard to say. Um, so I don't know. But uh, someone did come early this morning and pick up the dresser. I posted them on next door last night. There was some interest in the dresser specifically. And really, of all things, the dresser is the thing I want to get taken somewhere because it's perfect condition. I mean, it's like brand new, even though we've had it since Liesl was born. Um, it's absolutely perfect. And it would be really nice um, if it got, you know, went to a nice home and, and someone actually used it and got some value out of it because uh, uh, because it is perfect and it is an important part of our history. Our kids have had that their whole lives. Liesl can't remember a time without it and there wasn't a time for Luciana without it. That dresser was in Liesl's nursery when she was tiny. So, you know, I mean, it's, it's one thing to give it away, but it's another thing to have to like destroy it, right? Which sitting it out in the rain is what it's gonna do. So we're supposed to have a storm today. So I'm really glad that someone decided to take that because it really was a nice unit. Um, and then, uh, so last night, uh, we, we didn't even get a chance to think about dinner until uh, nine. Uh, and the girls decided they wanted to go somewhere with me. Dominica had a really rough day dealing with the plumber disaster. We had the tax disaster on Monday, the plumber disaster yesterday. It's just every day something huge. Um, the plumbing did eventually get fixed at about 8.30. Uh, that poor guy was here for forever, and he said it's just probably maintenance stuff. There was He couldn't find anything wrong, which is all really good, right? We're selling the house. The last thing we have to do is find out something's actually wrong and there's a disclosure. He's like, you know, every so often plumbing has to be cleaned out and this seems like what it was. It was just really tricky to find or because it was so no item wrong, he's like, this is not even hair clogs. This is not, you know, something like that. This is just over time, pipes need to be cleaned from time to time, and here's here's where it's getting done. So, uh, so he just had to work on that for a really long time, um, and he was up on the roof doing that, and he's like, "Well, I'm not sure which vent is the one that's going to do it." So it just went on and on. Um, so it was it was really late, and Dominica was exhausted. So at nine o'clock, the girls decided they wanted to go with me on an adventure to find food, which they loved doing. And uh, so we went out and we thought we were going to go to, I think it's called Great Outdoor. I haven't been there in years, but they do subs that are really good. They were closed, of course, because everything in closed closes, everything in Texas closes by nine. Cannot wait to live in a place that isn't so sleepy. It is ridiculous how early everything closes in Texas. Uh, and I mean, we're in Dallas. We're not in uh, some rural Texas town where I would expect things to close early. Here in the city, you can't get food reliably after eight. What? 
what backwater third world has these kinds of problems? So nine o'clock, we're wandering around. Subway was already closed. Um, pretty much all the fast food was already closed. Um, uh, the sub shop was closed, but then we found Alf Alfredo's, which we've never been to, and it's right down the street. And and Chana's like, oh, they have this pasta. That looks interesting. She had already eaten, so she didn't really need dinner. But And then I'm like, well, I'll drive by again so you can see it. She's like, I wanna see what's in there. And she looked in and we saw a sub sign in the window, which is what I was looking for. So I'm like, oh, perfect. So I pulled in and uh, I ordered an uh, eggplant parm for Dominica and I got just a veggie and cheese. I just wanted a simple, of course you can't get them here, right? So it was nothing like, it was good. It was nothing like a sub I would get in New York, which uh, hopefully I'll be able to get soon. Um, but that's, that's what I'm craving is just a simple New York sub, right? Bread, cheese, the veggies, a bunch of mayo, maybe some salt and pepper, like keep it simple. Um, and you just can't get that here. I, I go years without it. It's terrible. It's one of my favorite foods. But, uh, ooh, the wind's picking up again. Just like yesterday, the storm is getting closer. Uh, so we got that and um, we got some cannoli. Uh, I got a cannolo for Dominica and a cannolo for Luciana and Liesl saw some strawberry cheesecake that she wanted, she got that. And then Liesl really wanted Taco Bell, which is dirt cheap. So we ran over to Taco Bell and got her her cheesy bean and rice burritos. Of course, there is no Taco Bell in Nicaragua. So there is in Costa Rica, so there will be times that we'll be transiting through Liberia and we will stop at Taco Bell when we do that for Liesl. But Taco Bell is one of the things that she has to give up. And so we're trying to let her go uh, as much as possible right now uh, while it's still available and it's cheap. So there's no reason not to. So the girls and I had a really nice time. We went out and we had to wait for the food for a while. So we, we stood out on Trinity Mills and, and talked and got to hang out. And uh, we talked about how much we haven't been able to go out to eat for the last couple of years uh, because we had our financial problems and then COVID hit. So there was a long stretch of living here in Dallas that we pretty much never went out to eat. And so our like, there's all these restaurants that we would drive by and be like, oh, I wish we could go there. I wish we could try that. We just never have. Um, and they decided that they really wanted to go to the Ola Cafe, which is a Venezuelan place right across the block right next to Winco uh, that I've walked to several times. We've always looked at it. We just have never made it to go get food. Um, and they both want to go do that uh, today for lunch. So we're hoping to be able to do that, but we'll see. Because this morning, uh, first thing, um, <laughs> Dominica got the girls ready and they went to Wells Fargo. They have to open their own bank accounts because they're at a point where they really, really need to have their own bank accounts and just it's so much easier to track their money because they both have fair amounts of money at this point um, that we can't just throw it in our account. It doesn't work. So um, so she's trying to get that done. She tried to do that yesterday, but they said, oh, you have to have an appointment to do that for kids and it has to be in person. So they made an appointment. Now they're back there today and they've been there for hours um, and it's taking forever and she's really frustrated. So that's what's going on now. Hopefully they get back sometime reasonably soon. We can go to the Ola Cafe, but I have a meeting at one and I have a meeting at three. So I should be able to do it in the middle of the afternoon, but it's going to be a little bit tight to squeeze it in. I did work until 3 a.m. yesterday, so I slept in a little bit this morning. Um, and the dogs decided once Dominica got up, uh, Mia got on the on her pillow and Luch and uh, and uh, uh, Clive got between my legs. And they're both like, you're staying here and made me snuggle. And so I worked for my phone for a bit this morning uh, as the dogs slept there. Uh, they're having all the change is a bit much for them. They're kind of stressed because all the furniture is gone. People have changed, all that kind of stuff. So uh, all the reports from the hotel this morning are good. It's really neat seeing their, uh, now that they know that they're staying open, their social media has started picking up. They've not been posting anything for months. So when we looked at like their Instagram and everything, it's like, oh, here's what was a hotel. We knew it was open, but like nothing going on. But now because we're actively ramping it up, not ramping it down, because um, they were afraid they were gonna have to close. Uh, now they're posting a couple times a day on like Instagram and Facebook and stuff, so it's really cool seeing our hotel posting stuff live and like seeing the the waves come in of to you know last night and um, seeing the ads and what's going on and what's you know seeing the dinner specials or whatever. It's like this is really cool. This is our hotel actively doing stuff. This is amazing uh so that was uh, that's been really cool um we have to continue packing today this is originally we were supposed to have left this morning 
right? We were supposed to be completely done last night and left this morning. We are not there. Uh, the current hope is that we are gonna have enough stuff packed that I can load the car maybe today and make a run to Houston tomorrow. Um, and if at all possible, we're gonna start removing stuff from the storage unit because there's just, we're storing too much stuff. We have to not keep it. It just has to go somewhere. We have to do something. Um, so trying to figure that out. Maybe I can get Jeremy to go with me. There is a number of things that I think he might actually want. Um, and so if I transferred some things to him, uh, that would clear up some space. We will see. Uh, I will check with him today now that I say it out loud. Hopefully the rain doesn't preclude me from doing that tomorrow. Um, so we had really hoped uh, that we could get the real estate agent in today. They called this morning. We said, no, it's going to be a couple days. Um, and especially with this banking stuff, we've lost another half day. It's just, it just never ends. Um, at least work stuff is going really well, just, just keeping us extremely busy. Uh, and uh, yeah, that I think is everything. So our current goal is realistically, we're going to try to get on the road this weekend um, and get moving. Uh, and we are still waiting to hear at this point in the morning uh, news about the charter flight. Um, but we are getting close. It is, so today's the 20, I'm sorry, I kept saying the 27th. Today is the 28th. This is the morning of the 28th. So 28th part one. And um, we're probably leaving Miami around the Ides of May, uh, the middle of May. Um, so we have a little bit under three weeks at this point. Um, so we're, we're in a bit of a crunch, but we don't know when the flight is yet. So it might be longer. Uh, so we're trying to figure out all that kind of stuff. All right, I'm sure I will have a long, arduous update later today. <laughs> that is it for this morning. Um, I'm, I'm starting to feel very nostalgic as, as my kid's stuff starts to leave and get packed um, and, and everything starts going away. It's like, oh, we're, you know, now that we know the storage unit, a lot of that stuff is almost certainly never coming with us. It's like, we're never gonna see a lot of this stuff again. That part's a little bit rough, but so excited to get out of here. We are, every time we see a picture from the hotel, we're just like, oh, I wish we were there. All right, I'll see everybody a little bit later.